buddies. Today with the new relic recovery season out, we decided to take a look at the Vuforia and found out how easy it is to get it set up. This is in the new SDK 3.4. And what you're going to start out with is opening up your external file, the thing in your external samples code. You go down to the uh, concept view mark identification right here. So once finding it, you're going to copy it into your team directory, team code. You got ours right here. So you're going to scroll down to this important box right here. Basically, it talks about you need to obtain your own license key to use Euphoria. So how to get to this, you're going to go to this this website right here. Developer.euphoria.com slash license manager. When you get to that website, you need to create an account and then you can create a license key. We created one right here already. So you're going to copy and paste it into your program on the parameters.vuforia license key line in the code and I'll show that here right here as you see that we've done already right there so you just copy and paste it in so first you need to comment out disable and you should be ready to run okay so now our program is downloaded onto our phone and we can access it through autonomous so once I initialize it, you can see that the um, camera is starting to appear and we're going to hit run and see. So if you stick it on there, it will say that this one is supposed to be in the center. And it says that this one's supposed to be on the left. And it says that this one is supposed to be in the right. We just wanted you to know that the sample is easy to use and shows you how to do the view mark. We did this exactly in five minutes, so it's very easy to use. That's, That's all. Bye, bot buddies.